Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jo and Osis. I'm excited for today's video because it's 2020 and I thought of Bible verses that will help you kickstart your new year. I'm not too late, we're still in January and it's not too late to make resolutions or to start fresh. You basically have the whole of January. So without wasting time, let's get right into this video. Ecclesiastes says that there is a time for everything and the new year tends to be a time for fresh starts. It's natural and healthy. Reviewing the old and setting goals for the new brings a breath of fresh air and maybe even a little excitement that's only possible when the slate has been wiped clean. God's word is a great place to begin thinking about how we start over and move forward. The first word is from Joel 2 verse 12. It says, Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Having a fresh new start this year, I think it's what we all desire. And by fasting and praying, we just like remove all the filth and all the past that we don't want to carry on into this new year. And that will just help us to spiritually connect with God and spiritually grow with God. So I think it's very important for us to fast and, you know, become more one with God spiritually this year. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Let's be honest, I think we all have things that we want, things that we need uh, to happen in this year or things that we need to get this year, whether it be I don't know medical way it could be some financial aid it could be anything you know and God is telling us that whatever you ask in my name I will give you we should just humble ourselves and go to God and we shouldn't rely on ourselves because with men things are impossible but knowing that with God all things are possible you should just run to him he's a miracle working God and there is nothing too high too low too big too small for him to do in your life Philippians 3 13 to 14 says one thing I do forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yes, you've made mistakes and you failed a couple of times, but don't dwell in your past and in your failures. Instead, look on to God, focus on Him and finish the goal. There is a goal ahead of you and you need to just get up, keep your head on God and just run towards the purpose God has for you. And then lastly, my favorite verse, the one I always carry throughout every single year with my my sister is Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. I don't think that verse needs any explanation but God is going to do things exceedingly and abundantly. He is not on the human level please guys. He's going to take you high above. He's going to do so many great things for you and but just believe it. That is the verse that I always carry out throughout the years and he indeed does show me that he will do things exceedingly and abundantly. So in conclusion you should just humble yourself and know who is in control. Know who has made you and the creator of the heavens and the earth and just depend on him and rely on him. He has got you and you do your part in showing him that you believe in him and that you trust him and that you have faith in him and everything will be well. Whether you go through trials and tribulations, just know that God is not done with you. Instead, he is shaping you and forming you into the person he wants you to be. So you have to go through all those stuff and later when you come out at the end, you'll be a stronger and greater person than you've ever <laughs> imagined. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you were inspired by this video. It's quite short, but I like it short. Carry this throughout your year. You are gonna be fine. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a gorgeous, wonderful, awesome, blessed day. <laughs>